Hi, and welcome to this week's look at headlines in natural health on iHealthTube.com. Well, broccoli has long been known to have beneficial health and even beneficial cancer properties, but now there is even more evidence of the latter. Researchers in Singapore have used a mixture of bacteria and vegetables to seek out and kill colorectal cancer cells. The team engineered a common bacteria found in the gut and turned it into a probiotic that when attached to a colorectal cancer cell would help a substance found in cruciferous vegetables like broccoli become an anti-cancer agent. The group has seen plenty of success in the lab. The probiotic with broccoli extract killed more than 95% of colorectal cancer cells in a dish and reduced tumor numbers by 75% in mice. The hope is that down the road, colorectal cancer patients may be able to take these probiotics along with eating broccoli to help prevent the cancer or cancer recurrence. What's the difference between a bacterial infection and eating a lot of fast food? Well, maybe not much according to a recent study. The research team out of Germany fed mice a high fat, high sugar and low fiber diet similar to a fast food or what's called the Western diet. The animals developed a strong inflammatory response throughout the body, similar to a bacteria infection. The diet led to an unexpected increase in immune cells in the blood, meaning fast food can cause the body to quickly generate a response to a potential invader. When the mice were fed their typical diet for four weeks, the acute inflammation disappeared. But many of the genes that had been switched on during the fast food diet remained active. Finally, a common pain reliever is showing some surprise effects when taken by pregnant women. A study out of New York found an elevated rate of language delay in girls that were born to mothers who used acetaminophen during pregnancy. In the study, girls born to mothers who took acetaminophen more than six times in early pregnancy were nearly six times more likely to have language delay than girls born to mothers who did not take acetaminophen. There was no significant decrease for boys in the study. The study's author said language development has shown to be predictive of neurodevelopment problems in children. That's a look at what's making headlines in natural health this week. Make sure to go to iHealthTube.com and sign up for our free email newsletter to stay connected to the latest from the experts themselves.